Sabu, the sixth sense. This is one of the strangest games ever released on the NES. If you want to call it a game, it's really not a game. It's just tarot cards on an NES. Is it tarot yeah. cards or is it tarot cards? Because it, doesn't that well, word end with a T? That's tarot. Well, it can't be tarot because that sounds like carrot, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what happens in this game? This game is one of those games that you play for five minutes at best and you're like, what the hell was that? So please excuse us if we don't know what to do with this game because it's just so damn strange. Actually, the instruction manual to the game, which um, is very interesting, the instruction manual says that you shouldn't be under the age of 14 if you play this. It, it's like the only NES game that has like warnings. Yeah. It also says that the game isn't actually magical and that you shouldn't listen to the advice in the game. So let's let's play Taboo, The Sixth Sense. Okay. Kind of like that overrated movie. The Sixth Sense? Yeah, never mind. I <laughs> see dead people. Um, so your question, what do you want to ask the NES? Maybe I should. How play. about how do you play? Okay. Too bad the thing doesn't have Siri like the iPhone. You could be like, yeah. how do you play? A little less advanced than that. Hello, computer. Okay, how do you play? Right. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this background. This is the trippiest NES screen I've ever seen. You definitely need substance for this game. The significator. The queen of coins. The situation at present is luxury and comfort. What does this have to do with how do you play the game? <laughs> I don't even think there's any interactivity with this, other than when you put in the information. Because uh. it, it just shuffles the cards. Oh, here we go. The existing obstacle is the realization of desires or goals. What is that, like a shit coming out of somebody's ass? <laughs> <laughs> Your secret fears or wants are a position of authority. This game is horrible. It's not a game. It's not even a game. It, it's just push the button and then some words are gonna appear on screen that don't mean anything to anybody. Oh, select your state. Um, uh, your state of mind? The state of mind. <laughs> oh, dude, like, this game is totally awesome. <laughs> Let's do California. California. Fortune numbers. Lucky number seven. Okay. And that's the game. I thought, wait, I thought we just got the lucky numbers and then something was going to happen. I guess not. So we got lucky numbers, like write those down and take those with you. All that has been and all that will. All that has been and all that will be is here for... Didn't even get a chance to read it. This sucks. There goes the game. So, that's Taboo the Sixth Sense. Um, <laughs> there's really nothing to say about it. Mm -hmm. There's got to be something more to it, but that's it. Here's a better idea. If you're into this type of thing, go to a psychic like reader in your, like a local, you know, one in your town or something, and yeah. just like pay them five bucks for them yeah. to read your palm, and you'll feel a lot better. Yeah, be like, hey, here, read my palm. They'll be like, oh, okay, hang on one second. They'll turn around and they'll turn on their NES and put in a tab. <laughs> yeah, that's where they get it from. Yeah, <laughs> this is a really good example of a game that, like. If you bought this when you were a kid, you, you would have been so pissed off because this just sucks. There's no gameplay. Like, it, like you'd think, okay, if you're going to adapt tarot cards into an NES game, wouldn't you add something a little more to it? Yeah. Like something to make it more playable? It, it's just a real ripoff. Taboo. This this game is, is taboo. It's true. To speak of the sixth sense. You need to have a sixth sense to be able to fucking play it. You have to have a sixth sense not to buy this in the first place. The sixth sense. I see shitty games. 